everybody and welcome. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together today for some chair yoga. And this is a revitalizing um, yoga class. So lots of movement. Making sure that the chair you're on is safe and stable. And if there are any wheels on it, then please do lock those. And using your own intuition, whether you need the support of the back of your chair or whether you can come forward. You know, root down through our feet at a comfortable distance for you, and that'll be different for each of us. Taking a big breath in, exhaling it out. Uh -huh. Taking a few breaths like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just noticing how you feel today. I know it's lovely and sunny at the moment that I'm recording this. Notice how you feel today your energy levels in your body. Notice any sensations in your body that draw your awareness to them. If there's any places you need to be careful of today or take care of moving. If there's any tension present, Offer yourself any movement or anything you can to release that tension as best as you can. Staying here or picking up through your toes or the balls of your feet, you can wiggle and waggle those feet a little bit. Even um, take your ankles into internal and external rotation. You can take some circles there. Lift up through the heels, anything that feels comfortable here, just to wake up the awareness of your feet. And then we'll take the soles of the feet all the way down to the floor. Taking your awareness to your seat as it's supported underneath you, you can even wiggle and waggle from side to side. You might notice the bony bits underneath you, which are the base of the pelvis and we root down through those, noticing if there's, you're sitting more into one side than the other, or forward or back, and see if you can even that up. Rooting down through your feet in your seat, we now lift up through the spine, whatever that means for you, so as if the crown of your head could nudge up towards the ceiling just a little more. Shoulders soft and down away from your ears, and the collarbone's nice and wide, hands supported. We're going to take a nice, beautiful inhale all the way to the top of your inhale. And exhale that out. Uh -huh. Focusing on your inhale. Maybe starting to breathe in and out through your nose. And imagine that inhale is infusing you with energy. And imagine the exhale balances that out with releasing. And so we get this influx of energy on the inhale, and then we release the breath on the exhale, and notice a softening through the body as that happens. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we're going to keep this breath, we're going to invite you to steady that out. And so we've got that real influx of energy on the inhale, but we're also just as much ease on the exhale. So those breaths feel balanced, rooting to rise. Let go of any forcing in the breath at all. So the breath comes back to you, a natural, easy rhythm for you. But you still have that awareness to the inhaling, the energy and the exhaling, that softness and relaxation which the exhale can offer us. And then we're gonna take that right hand out towards the side, softening through the wrist, and then we're gonna circle through that wrist. You might notice some clicks and clacks in there, as much or as little movement as feels good for you, and then round in the opposite direction. And you can keep a soft fist, or you can keep those fingers and thumbs long. 
And then I'm gonna take that elbow out towards the side and create circles. And although this looks like it's, a lot of it's coming from the elbow, it's actually coming from the top of the shoulder joint as well. And we'll go around in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling, that influx of energy. Always knowing that if you feel tired at any point or you need to rest, go ahead and do that. And then from here, I'm going to take that right arm all the way out to the side and we're going to circle. And because we're seated, then bend the elbow on that exhale, but otherwise we're circling that round. It can be a small circle. It can be a big reaching circle. Your choice. The inhale. That energy comes in, the exhale is a softness. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. So we're reaching over towards the left, that's the inhale, the exhale is that pulling through towards the left. Mm -hmm. Nice, one more here. We'll take that right hand back to support, left hand comes up, kind of soft, fingers long or soft fists, and we're going to circle. There's no right or wrong here, just breathing, steady breath, steady movements. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, taking that elbow out, I'm going to start to circle through the elbow. And back in the opposite direction. Again, that effort and ease in the breath, the inhale, the effort bringing life in on the exhale, that letting go. And then from here, big circles through the left shoulder, one direction, don't worry about which direction you started with. And they can be big reaching movements or soft, small circles as if you're kind of um, washing a window in front of you. And then we'll go back in the opposite direction. Noticing where you feel that in your body, always resting if you prefer. We'll take that all the way down to support. And then from here, just circling through the shoulders. And if it feels better to dangle your hands next to you, you can go ahead and do that. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction. Again, always noticing where you're feeling this. Steady breath, steady movement. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, hands coming back to support. We're going to take big circles through the neck as well, as big or as small as feels comfortable for you. Around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. End of the exhale, chin can come down towards the chest, sitting the shoulders back a little, breathing here, steady and smooth, inhaling that influx of energy, that exhale is the letting go. You can breathe right into the back of your neck, upper shoulders, upper back. Last breath here. And on that inhale, we come all the way up. Mm -hmm. And from here, we're going to cross over from the body here. We've done a little bit of this. So we're going to start with those soft fists in the hands. And we're going to take the left arm over to the right and bring it back. And then the right arm over to the left. So with your breath, keeping the movements easy. You don't have to straighten through that arm or you can take it a little bit further, your choice, what feels good in your body. Inhaling and exhaling, always that breath, the vitalizing inhale and the softening of the exhale. Option to stay here, option to take those arms up. 
And notice how you're feeling this, where you feel it in your body. And then the option to take that down low as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go central, high, and then low. And we'll do that two more times. Easy breath. Last one here. Mm -hmm. And coming all the way back to center. Beautiful breath in. Exhaling it out. Uh-huh. Another couple of breaths just like that. Tuning back into your body and noticing how it feels. And then from here, coming into seated cat and cow. So hands on the thighs. On the inhale, lifting up through the heart, elbows come back. And on the exhale, we're drawing the belly in towards the spine, inhaling and exhaling. This movement can be as big or as small as you like, but as long as it's moving with the breath. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here. Option to take those arms up on the inhale, palms towards each other. They can be as wide or as close together as you like. And on the exhale, as the belly draws in, the fingertips come down, maybe even the pinky fingers come back behind the hips. Inhaling up, opening up through the chest, exhaling, opening across the back body. Chin can lift on the inhale, exhale, drawing down. But there's no momentum to the movement. So it is a controlled inhale, a controlled exhale. And if that feels like it's super challenging, then please take the hands back to support on your legs. Imagine on that inhale, your heart is opening up towards the sky. And on the exhale, the same thing is happening in the back body. You've got another three breaths here. You can always rest. Last one. And then we're coming back to support. Any adjustments you need to make, go ahead. We're going to take opposite elbows or forearms here, your choice. Roll the shoulders back and down. And if by taking the opposite elbows, you're feeling like your um, collarbones are collapsing inwards, then please just take forearms or even wrists, whatever feels comfortable in your shoulders. The shoulders are rolling back and down here. And then from here, we're just going to start to create circles through the elbows. Mm -hmm. And those circles can be small or they can get a little bigger. Inhaling and exhaling. You might notice a slight gentle twist in through the spine as this is happening. And you can take the gaze with those circles, bringing that gentle twist in through the spine. Inhaling and exhaling. And then the next exhale, we're gonna pause and then go gently in the opposite direction to start with. And then from there, maybe those movements get a little bigger, maybe they do, maybe they don't. And the option is to take the gaze, the heart with those movements. Again, the inhale is that influx of energy. The exhale, that letting go. Get another two in this direction. Always resting if you prefer. Coming back to center. Any movements you need to release, go ahead. 
And from there, the hands come down next to us, rolling the shoulders back and down. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're coming down towards the right, inhaling up through center and exhaling to the left. Excellent place to be right here. If you want to add on, the hands come behind the head, elbows draw out as much as is comfortable. And that's gonna be different for each of us. This takes the upper, the center of gravity a little higher. This is the inhale and we're just coming towards one side on the exhale, inhaling up, exhaling to the other side. Mm -hmm. Notice where you feel this. Notice if softening the elbows forward makes it feel more comfortable in your body or drawing those elbows a little wider or closer up towards the sky. Option to stay here, going side to side. Option next time you come over to the right side, we're breathing three breaths here. Wide collarbones, sitting the base of the skull into the palm of the hands if your arms are up. Steady breath. Inhaling up to center and over to the other side, pulsing or in stillness. That right elbow drawing up towards the sky if you're in stillness. Staying for the last exhale, whenever that is for you. And we're coming all the way up to center, releasing the hands, any movements you need in the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, you go ahead. From here, we're coming over to the right side of our chair to get into the hip flexors. So, turning all the way over towards the right, making sure that you might need to adjust yourself coming forward or back on your chair so you can feel grounded through your feet. That right hand is on the back of the chair for support. Excellent place to stay right here. Or we're gonna slide the left sit bone off our chair. Right hand is there for support. Gazing forward, great place to stay right here. Just warming up through the core with that left sit bone off the chair without dropping the hip or hiking it up. Option to stay there, option to take that left leg back. Toes to the floor or the top of the foot, you can take a softness under that if you like. And you might need to sit forward or back again so that right foot feels really stable depending on the height of your chair and the length of your bones. From here, going through some pelvic tilts, forward and back somewhat. Coming through that left hip flexor, you might notice some opening up through there. And then the left foot can tuck back a little. Now the further that left foot comes back, the more the pelvis wants to tilt forward naturally. So we're trying to stay at that ease in the pelvis by getting that length through the left hip flexor. So it's a little bit of a dance. Noticing what feels sustainable to you, and it's sustainable when the breath is easy. So inhaling and exhaling, keeping that pelvis neutral, we feel supported. Option to stay here, option to send that left arm up towards the sky. Palm can come behind the head and we're opening up through the elbow, very much like we just did earlier. Option to stay here. Front ribs drawn in in case we want to pop them out, that's going to keep the pelvis neutral. Option to take that right hand to the left elbow, draw the left fingertips down towards the shoulder blades and without popping the ribs out, offering an openness through the left side of the body as we tilt towards the right. Steady breaths here, rooting down through the right foot and the toes or the front of the foot on the back leg. Staying for another full breath here. And on an inhale, we're coming up. Taking the back of the thigh, drawing it forward, and finding ourselves seated on our chair. From here, coming round to center. And we're coming over towards the other side. So, towards the left side. 
And again, you might need to adjust coming forward or back on your chair, depending on um, the height of your chair, the length of your bones, to make sure you feel stable. Left hand is on the back of the chair there. And the option to sit the right sit bone off. So the left sit bone is on the chair, right sit bone may be seated off. And then we're taking that right leg back, coming into a supported lunge here. Top of the foot, you can always take a blanket or a pillow underneath that, or uh, tuck of the toes, depending on what feels comfortable for you. And then we play with taking that leg back a comfortable distance. I'm just going to kick that out the way a little bit. Um, comfortable distance, playing with the tilt of that pelvis and noticing if you can stay at a place that feels fairly neutral with the leg back at your angle, where we feel that opening up through the hip flexors on the right side, but it's not so much we can't breathe, we're always staying with the breath. Front ribs are drawn in, so we feel that neutrality, and we're, we can push down through both feet here evenly. Option to stay here or lift that right arm up behind the skull, and that elbow opens up. Excellent place to stay with that left hand on the back of the chair for support or the left hand can come over to the top of the right elbow, right fingertips come down towards the shoulder blades and we're opening up towards the right or the left side, excuse me, and we're breathing. So we've got this lens all the way down the right side, breathing, steady breaths. Another couple of breaths here, always knowing you can adjust something for your body. Inhaling up to center, left hand back to support, right hand brings the right leg forward and we're coming back to center. Any movement you need to go through your body, go ahead for softness. And we're taking the feet out into um, external rotation here. Rooting down to rise, take a sip of water. Coming into those big barrel rolls through the ribs, which is so helpful. Hands supporting you, that external rotation of a comfortable place for you. The more you sit back in your chair, the more supported you're going to feel. The more forward you sit, the less supported. So you check that out. On the inhale, we're coming forward with the ribs, and on the exhale, we're rolling back, but it is circles. So rather than just coming forward and back like seated cat and cow, we've got the control going through the side of the body too. Once this is happening, hey, if you feel stable enough, soften your gaze or close your eyes if you haven't already, and allow your body to move for you in a way that feels comfortable. And that may be making the movement bigger. It may be making the movement smaller, your choice. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pause at the end of your next exhale. And we'll go around in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady in your own way. Another couple here, unless you're resting. And then we're coming all the way back to center and heel toe the feet in towards each other. And just notice how your body feels here. Mm -hmm. And then from here, rooting down through the left foot in particular, rooting through the seat and rising from there. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift up through the right foot and slide the right foot out, keeping the hip center. That's the inhale. Exhale, coming back. Inhaling, exhaling. So we're tapping in and out. But the left foot is our foundation here. The more we press down into that, 
the more stability we have through our whole body. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay, right here. Warming up through, we warmed up everything. Now we're starting to build strength through the core. So, this is the inhale and the exhale. If you're adding on, the next exhale, we're gonna bring the knee up, inhaling wide, tapping down, heel comes to the floor, exhaling, drawing the knee in. And if you need the support, then you can take the right hand to the right knee, and on that exhale, we're holding that knee inwards. Great place to be. Upper body is nice and still, and the breath is that same, inhaling that, um, <laughs> infusing of energy in that exhale is the possibility of softness so there's that balance there with every breath nice if you're adding on the inhale we're going to take that left arm up as if we're kind of pulling fruit off a vine that's the inhale stepping out with the left of the right leg and on the exhale elbow in towards knee doesn't ever have to get there inhale exhale mm -hmm. Option to stay here, great place to be. Option to hover the right foot as it comes out. Inhaling, reaching, diagonal, we've got this diagonal line across the body, exhaling in towards center. And the last option here is on that inhale to extend the heart, we've got the extension in the spine on that exhale, belly in towards the spine and there's a little crunch there. Inhaling, exhaling flexion. Inhaling extension, exhaling flexion. And you can take that left hand back behind you if that suits you. The last thing here is to take the gaze with that left thumb. Left leg is your foundation and we have another three. Rest if you need to. Last one here. Staying to that exhale. Right foot comes down. Any movements you need, go ahead. Taking the right hand on the right knee, we're just gonna windshield wiper that knee out towards the side and in to soften any of the tension that may have built up in that right hip. Same thing, other side. So we're rooting down through both feet. Come back to the breath. The inhale is just as much energy as you need. Exhale, softening that out. Root down through the right foot, that's your foundation. Inhale, we're lifting up the left, taking it wide. Exhale, taking it in. So we're tapping out and in. You can even slide the foot if that feels better for you. But that right leg, we're getting used to this as foundation. Steady the breath. Inhale, infusing. Exhale, letting go. If we're adding on. Inhaling. Exhaling, the knee comes in, lifting. Take a little flex in that left foot. You can give it a little help if you want. Inhaling, exhaling. Letting go on that exhale. Our spine is nice and tall though, and that right leg is our foundation. Option to do that without the support of the hand. Inhaling and exhaling, great. Wherever you are, you can always take a rest whenever you need to. Otherwise, adding on, inhaling, the right leg comes out, uh, the right arm comes out as the left leg comes out. Exhaling, knee to elbow. Doesn't have to get there, just towards each other is enough. Long spine to start with. Tapping, option to hover the left toe. So that's the inhale. Exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Full of energy as we get this long line across the body. Your breath, not mine, you don't have to match with mine. And that option is to take that right arm back so we get that cross the body through that right armpit all the way through the gaze. 
steady and smooth, and we've got another three breaths. Last one. Stay for the exhale, and we're taking that leg down. Any movements that feel really good in your body, go ahead. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Another couple of breaths just like that. Uh-huh. Last one here. Nice. And then from there, we're going to come down to the floor and I'll meet you there. Hi again. Here we are down on the floor and we're going to come all the way down to the back body, knees to the sky, feet to the floor, taking any support you need to underneath you to feel comfortable. Readjust yourself. And again, any blankets, any softness you need underneath you, please go ahead and do that. Just pause the recording. Palms are going to come down towards the hips, as far away from your hips as make your shoulders rest comfortably into the floor. Knees are around about a hip distance or a comfortable distance for you. And as far towards your seat, again, as feels good in your body at the moment. On the inhale, pushing into the hands and the shoulders, lift up through the heart somewhat. <laughs> Push down through the feet. On an inhale, lifting the spine as one. We're coming up, exhaling, slowly tapping down. On the inhale, imagine breathing in all that energy. And on the exhale, it's that letting go. And right at the bottom of that exhale, there really is that point of complete surrender and support into the earth underneath you. And don't worry about how high or low your hips come. You can play with that. And you might find that the wider you take your legs on your mat, the easier it is in your lower back to lift up. So accommodate for your body. And don't think that there is a right or wrong way to do this. Inhaling and exhaling. If you would like to add on, we'll take the arms close to the hips, any amount that feels comfortable. As we lift the hips on the inhale, we're taking the arms overhead, and on the exhale, we're softening that down. Inhaling and exhaling. Flowing with your breath, and again, we're not concerned about how high those hips come. Working in a way that feels comfortable in your body. Option to stay pulsing here. Option when the hips come high to keep them there. Now the palms can be overhead or you can take the arms up towards the sky if you're holding a basketball as big or as small as you like. And we're staying here for a few breaths. Inhaling, still that influx of energy Exhaling, allow whatever you can to soften. That inhale infusing you with energy. Exhaling, relaxing. You've got one more breath here. And on that exhale, as the hips come down, the palms come down next to your hips too. Beautiful. From here, arms out on a cactus or a T, we're going to draw that right knee in. Circle through the ankle in one direction, and then we'll circle through the ankle in the other direction. From here, this is the exhale on the inhale, we're sending that right leg all the way up to the sky, exhaling it down, inhaling and exhaling. The leg doesn't have to become straight, just a little straighter as we send that leg up towards the sky. You can stay here. If you want to, you can send that right heel out. So the 
thighs are in the same angle as each other. Exhaling, the knee draws in. Inhaling, we're sending the heel away. So there's a little flex in that right foot. Excellent place to stay right here. Or we're sending that right heel along, hovering from the floor. That's the inhale. Exhale, the knee comes back. Option to stay here. So the knee drawing right in towards the belly doesn't have to get there on that exhale. Or the knee stays above the hip. So it's at a right angle to the hip. That's the exhale. Inhaling, extending. Exhaling, coming back to that 90 degree angle. Inhaling and exhaling. The inhale is always that extension. Option to stay here. Option to hover that heel and stay for three breaths. Pushing through the heel. Inhale with energy on that inhale. Exhale, allow any softening to happen. You've got one more breath here, staying for that. Last inhale, exhale, we're drawing in. Knee comes in towards the chest. Give it a little hug here. Mm -hmm. And then from here, arms come back in a cactus or a T. I'm gonna cycle with that right leg. Inhaling and exhaling. In a big or a small circle, and the more you extend your leg out, the more challenging this is going to be. So you get to decide how big or small those circles, those cycles are. And then we're going to take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Making the movement as steady and as smooth as you can, even if that means making the movement a little smaller. So we've got ankle, knee, hip stuff going on here. Strengthening through everything with the breath. Beautiful. And then at the end of the next exhale, I'm going to bring that knee in, give it a little hug. Then we're going to take that right knee out towards the side. Option to stay here. Option to stay here and send that left leg long, bringing that right knee out towards the armpit so we've got this um, openness through the groin. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, keep that left knee bent. Option to stay here or half happy baby here. Again, option to keep that left knee bent or left leg strong, taking the foot up towards the sky. You can hold on to the inside of the right thigh, outside of the shin, or even take hold of that outer right foot. Drawing the knee down towards the armpit, the thigh brushing the ribs. And we're breathing here, inhaling and exhaling. Steady and smooth, releasing anything that doesn't suit you but that inhale is that influx of energy the exhale is the relaxation wherever it is that you choose to be pushing through that left heel too if it's extended get another couple of breaths here And when you're ready, releasing the heel, the right heel down towards your seat. The knee comes in towards the ribs and we're taking that right foot to the floor. Whether the left leg is extended or bent, we're going to draw that left knee in towards you. You can give yourself a little hug or take those arms out in a cactus or a T. And we're circling through that ankle. Inhaling and exhaling one direction and then taking it round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, 
arms in a cactus or a T. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we're sending that leg up towards the ceiling. Doesn't have to be straight. Pushing through the heel. Exhaling and inhaling. Noticing how that feels in your body. Inhale, expand with the breath. And that exhale is that release. Option to stay here. Option on the inhale to take that left leg out in the same angle as your right thigh, inhaling and exhaling. Pushing through the heel. Noticing how that feels. As the foot is a little further away from you, that's going to be more challenging. So notice if that works for you and if it doesn't, no big deal. Come back to the previous alignment. Otherwise, we're sending that left heel hovering along the floor. Inhaling and exhaling. Steady and smooth here. If you want to add on, next time we come out, we hover and stay for three breaths. But the breath is even and steady. Inhale, fill up with energy. Exhale, relax where you can. One last breath, more or less. And then we're going to draw that knee in towards you. Give yourself a little hug. From here, arms on a cactus or a T, and we're going to cycle on the left side. As big or as small as you like, that can be a tiny movement if that feels better for you. Or the more you extend that leg, the more challenging it is. But we want that circle to be as smooth as possible. Inhaling and exhaling. And keep the breath even. Keep that energy coming in on the inhale and that relaxation, that letting go on the exhale. And when you're ready, we're going to take that in the opposite direction. And if you've already had enough going on today, then you can make sure that you relax and release, take a break when you need to. Mm -hmm. Another couple on this side, unless you're already resting. And then we'll draw that left knee in, give yourself a little hug. Keeping that left hand on the left leg, left underneath the knee or on top of that shin, we're going to bring that left knee out towards the side. Option to stay here, option to send the right leg long, depending on how this feels in your body. So there's not a right or wrong here, knee bent, leg straight, your choice. And then we've got this opening up, this diagonal across from the left knee all the way through the groin. An option to stay here or option to take the foot up towards the sky for half happy baby. So there's a flex in that foot. Hand can come to the outside or back of that left thigh, outside of the shin, or take hold of that outer leg. And we're opening up that groin a little more. Anytime you can bend that right knee and that'll soften the sensation through the groin. No right or wrong way to be here. We're breathing. Steady and smooth, influx of energy on the inhale, exhale, relaxation. Notice how your body feels here, how your breath feels. You got another couple of breaths here. You can always relax and let go and do less. And then when you're ready, we'll release that left heel down and draw that left knee in towards the chest. Left foot comes to the floor, meeting the right if it wasn't already there. And from here, we're going to pick up our hips, shift them over to the right side. Extend that left leg out long, right knee draws in and overhead, right shoulder rooted. 
And you can play with pulsing that knee in and out, up and down to find a sweet spot and notice what feels good for you. If you need to support that right knee as it comes over, then please go ahead. You can always take the right foot on the left, the inner left leg at any point that it happens to find itself there. And the gaze is over that right shoulder if the right shoulder is down on the earth. Take some deep breaths in here. Staying for the last exhale, and when you're ready, coming up to center, releasing the feet to the floor, shift the hips to center, over towards the left, right leg goes long, left knee comes in and over. Left shoulder is rooted and grounded, and you can play with where you want that left knee high or low towards your belly or further away or up towards the sky or closer to the earth. Supporting it if you need to. And we've got some steady breaths here. Inhale, still that infuse of energy, that revitalizing energy and on that exhale, we're letting go. You can stay here for as long as you like, or we're drawing that knee up to center. Both knees come in, release the pelvis to a central place. And from here, we have relaxation. So maybe the legs go long, star fishing it out, pull palms down towards your hips, palms up, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. You can be on your side, on your belly, you can rest wherever you feel comfortable. I'm going to come to a seat to guide you. So we're resting in a place that feels comfortable for you here. Notice the support underneath you. Take a breath in. And exhale it out. Another three like that, or we take a big breath in and hold right at the top. Relax tension. Take a breath in again, hold once more, and release the muscles. Last breath in. Exhale, let it out in a swoosh. Uh-huh. We've got a few easy breaths as the breath settles down into its own rhythm here. Allowing your body to melt into that support underneath you like candle wax as it softens. Letting go of muscles as they soften and loosen. Allowing thoughts to just come and go. Resting here in quiet, you can tune me out and take your awareness to your lips. And you might notice a tingling, the inner body energy. You can stay with your awareness here 
in your lips or allow that humming, that buzzing, that inner body energy awareness to spread from your lips into the skin around your lips. It might even creep up into your nose. All the way up into your forehead. So you can feel that inner body energy as it starts to spread through your whole face. And if you lose it at any time, come back to the inner body energy sensations in your lips or allow that awareness of that inner body energy to creep over the back of your skull and down through your neck and throat. That awareness to your inner body energy creeping over your shoulders now down through your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, until you can feel the tinglings and that inner body buzz, inner body energy through your fingers and the tips of your thumbs, until it almost feels like you're vibrating through your head, shoulders and arms as that inner body energy awareness draws down now through your chest and upper back. down through your ribs and waist, over your hips, down through your pelvis, upper legs, knees, lower legs, ankles, to the tips of your toes and the soles of your feet until your whole body, your whole body is full of that inner body energy and you're aware of it all. How vital that inner body energy is, how much it fills you. And you're welcome to stay here or start to sense into the outer edges of your body. And notice if you can find that energy around the edges of your body too. Expanding outwards into the space around you. Maybe the support underneath you you find that universal energy in and around us. It's part of us and we're part of it. That life force within us and around us. Starting to release that awareness to that inner energy and the energy around you. And come back to the gentle rhythm of your breath here. Knowing that that energy is available for you to tune into at any time. Feeling the ebb and flow of your breath here. The inhale, we take in that energy from outside of us into our body and it feeds us. And that exhale, the releasing. And 
can stay here for as long as you like or start to take some gentle movements into your fingers and toes. As that breath is mindful in and out. You may still feel that, you may still have awareness to that inner body energy. And I invite you to tune into it at different times in the day and night. I'm starting to awaken your body in your own way. Inhaling and exhaling. Stretching wide or long or giving yourself a hug, anything that feels really good in your body. And then in your own time, maybe rolling to one side, maybe curling yourself in so your knees draw in. And taking the next few breaths to slowly come to a place where you would like to finish your practice today. Rooting down underneath you to rise up from there. Hands in a gesture of closing that suits you today. Big breath in, exhale, chin down towards the chest just softly. Eyes soft or closed, your choice. Maybe tune in firstly to your breath here. Or maybe you can feel a remnants of that energy in and around you. And thank yourself for practicing, for moving, for your awareness and your time today. I thank each and every one of you. From my heart to yours, namaste.